The film is about, I suppose, loneliness and anticipation. There's, there's the loneliness which is a problem, and then there's the loneliness which is a particular problem at Christmas. It's like it's worse to be alone on 25th of December than it would be any other day of the year. Um, so it seems like Christmas makes loneliness worse. But I think when we, when we see the message of Christmas from Scripture, we see that actually it's not a, it's not making the problem worse, it's actually the solution to the problem of loneliness. And that's because Christmas is about Emmanuel, um, which means God with us. So the loneliness that we might all feel, and I think we feel it, we felt it acutely Christmas 2020, people didn't like being separated from others at, at Christmas. That's actually something that goes for all of us all the time, is this fear of being alone, not just socially, but existentially, to be um, without anyone to talk to, without anyone to relate to. But the great news of the Bible is that we were, we were created for relationship. And so the good news of Christmas is that God takes the initiative in fixing our relationship with Him, uh, coming to us uh, to spend time, to, to befriend us, to become a friend of, of sinners. Um, the other thing is, is anticipation, which I think is the excitement of Christmas, the whole idea that you're going to come down the stairs and what are you going to find? Um, that's the joy of, of Christmas. Um, is, is not knowing exactly what's going to happen in the morning. And, and it's the same as the anticipation of trying to catch a mouse. So coming down those stairs, what are you going to find? You know, um, what are you going to find in the morning? Um, and I think with this story that I did, you can put those two things together and what will you find in the morning? It's not going to be death and vengeance. Uh, it's actually going to be a grace, a surprising joy and friendship uh, that you don't deserve but, but that, that's offered to you and I think we've we tried to capture some of the you know the, the surprise happy ending, the catastrophe that Tolkien talks about um, and that's the message of Christmas too, Emmanuel God being with us is is not what we deserve, it is not you know um, ours by right, but it's, it, it's God's to give in grace and love. Yeah, the message behind the movie, I suppose, is, is one of surprising friendship um, and a lot of cheese. Are you a cheese person? Am I a cheese person? Yeah, I'm a cheese guy, cheese boy, I think. Yeah, I like, to, like it. It's good. But the other thing is I really like um, the art department stuff, uh, the little gift, which has got a bespoke Speak Life or Squeak Life mouse uh, wrapping paper. Can you see that? Basically, it's a mouse. She designed this paper specially for us. And then we've got the little card. Now, this is actually an advent calendar, but the chocolate's been eaten already. We pay people in chocolate. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. I think, I think I always thought it was going to be funnier. I thought it was going to be a bit more comic, um, but then as we started to film it just became quite sweet. That kind of describes my experience of getting to know you actually Nate, because I, at first I thought you were just mm. a bit of a joke, but then I realised <laughs> that there That's... was a, a sweetness and a, a oh. gravitas. Um, I appreciate that, thank you.